Hey guys, it is me again, Karin, and welcome back to my channel. I have been kind of experimenting with the new makeup. I got a really nice wing over on this side, and then I got my sloppy drunk eye. But today I was going to unbox my Keto Crate and figure I'd show you guys what was going on here. Um, let's see, I do not have a knife, so I'm just going to have to open this with my foot. Not my foot, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, hang on, I'm getting a knife, yay! My lovely husband is not my photographer today. I got a, he got me a little camera holder. It's shaped like a horse. It's really cute. He also got me a ring light, but I'm not using it right now because I think it's dead. And I'm not 100% sure where it's at. Um, but anyway, here we go. Again, Keto Crate. Has, it's full of keto snacks. They actually sent me an email this week because due to the whole COVID thing, one of the snacks didn't get into the crate because the factory that makes it is currently shut down. So that one they said will be in next month's crate. So, And honestly, I've decided to try a new diet. So this may be the last keto crate unless I want to hold out for those marshmallows because I kind of do. So I may do one more, but we'll see. But as you can see, I've... Lost a little bit, my face isn't as like, Rrr. so I've lost some, it's just a, it's a process, and I will definitely start showing more of that process here shortly, but anyway, let's get into the crate. This is the May 2020 Keto Crate, it looks like, here's the little pamphlet, there's a avocado and a bacon on the cover, there is, inside there's a story of someone's, you know, success, her name is Lindsay. And she looks fabulous. Let's show that off a little. And here is a recipe using some of the stuff that's in the crate. So that's always fun. Then there's, sorry about that ting. My bad. There's a little comic. And there's all sorts of information in here about being part of the keto crate, being a membership and stuff like that. So this is, this little pamphlet's always full of good information. It doesn't say much about what's in the crate, but... Like I said, it's still full of information. Here is a pamphlet that says exactly what I said earlier. They sent me an email saying that the marshmallows did not make it into this crate, but they sent them next month. And let's get on to the snacks. Here, love good food, love, blah, blah, blah. Love good fats, chewy, nutty, coconut, macadamia, nut bar. That looks pretty good. I like macadamia nuts. We went to Hawaii when I was a kid a couple times, and we got those chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. Those are delicious. This one is Fat Snacks 0.3 Carbs Brownie Bite. It's like I can feel it in there. It's literally like a bite. But that's pretty cool. Some of this stuff I actually have thought about ordering separately, but a lot of you may know it's super expensive for like diet related stuff. So that's kind of why I'm trying a new, I'm doing a, a more intermittent fasting like kind of diet and it seems to be working out for me. But anyway, like I said, we'll get to that some other time. Here is <laughs> plant-based munchy crunchy protein snack. I don't know what it is. It looks like seeds, but it's not like, check that out. That's, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I feel like opening and eating one right now. Oh no, it's toasted whole beans. I'm not sure what kind of bean, just random bean. That's interesting. Here is a Mission Meats meat stick. That's one thing I did, here's what that looks like, meat stick. That's one thing, honestly, that I did like about keto is that you can eat as many beef jerkies <laughs> as you want as much bacon as you want, stuff like that. I really liked that, because I mean, as you can see, I'm not a stranger to eating as much things as I want. Let's just be real. You don't get this way by being portion controlled. But I'm working on it, working on it. Okay, here is something from Keto Farms. Oh, it's nacho cheddar crunchy cheese mixed nuts. It's mixed nuts in crunchy nacho cheese flavor. 
My husband will probably really like that. I don't like, what is it, Walmart? Wal Walmarts? I don't like walnuts. This is another keto staple that I am so sick of it's not even funny. And nothing against Keto Crate, this is a great snack. But, and these are spicy dill, I may like these, but pork rinds. Oh my goodness, pork rinds. I was never a big fan of pork rinds to begin with. So, I mean, it may be that, but when you're on keto, you eat a lot of pork rinds. And, well, I mean, you don't have to. It's not like, you're on keto, eat these. But, you're like, I want something crunchy, and boom, pork rinds it is. And, I'm just so sick of them. I tried to make onion rings coated in pork rinds, and I put them in the air fryer, and they just tasted like pork rinds. So... There's those. I'll try them and then my husband will probably eat them because he loves pork rinds. Okay. Here, FOMO NOMO High Key Brownie Bites. Keto friendly, 2 grams net carbs. That looks pretty good. I love sweet stuff. Again, I didn't get this way by not eating sweet stuff. Um, good to go strawberry macadamia nut bar. Oh, this must be like macadamia themed because that's two things no they don't theme their boxes as far as i can tell they just kind of throw stuff in there and the last thing which i've had this brand before i had um their sugar-free brownie mix and it was delicious so this one is their sugar-free chocolate chip cookie mix and for two cookies it's only 11 10, 9, 8, 7 carbs for two cookies, which is pretty good. Um, actually, wait a second. No, it's 7 carbs per cookie. I'm, I'm a moron, y'all. But anyway, there's that. So I'll be baking some cookies sometime soon. And that is the box. Here, there's like little fun whatevers. Me! And then inside, there's stuff to read, which, I mean, I don't know... Who reads the box but you know it's fun and it's exciting so I'm gonna do another video on Wednesday and I will have it's another makeup haul because my husband so wonderfully bought me more makeup so if you watch that first one get ready for a second one I'm gonna do that one on Wednesday because I'm gonna have a special guest but thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have any makeup tips definitely let me know because I need as much help as I can get Bye. Love you guys.